All right, uh, we've got the election coming up here Tuesday, and just to get a broad overview here of uh, how significant this is and um, what's going on nationally and locally, our political analyst John Dadian joins us once again here on uh, Wake Up San Diego. It's good to see you, John. Good morning. Uh, I know this is your Super Bowl. I don't know, midterm elections, maybe not. Maybe it's the playoffs for you, not quite the Super Bowl. Pretty yet. close, though, because yeah. there's been so many crazy elections. Uh, what are you watching most? I mean, what are you watching most closely? Is it the big picture with uh, whether or not the Senate changes control, or is it the local races? And, of course, my answer is E, all of the above. Sure. I, I do think the Senate's going to change, and that's going to have a dramatic effect, uh, without a doubt. Um, and, you know, people think the Senate is this big global thing. Think how it affects us in San Diego in California. Dianne Feinstein, a Democrat, is chair of the Intelligence Committee. You know, she'll lose that chairmanship, et cetera, so we'll lose some clout that way. So we'll gain some on other ways. We'll lose some. Okay, so you do think that the... the, the Republicans will pick up enough seats in the Senate in order to win that. I do, but here's kind of a sleeper story uh, that everybody's predicting, not including myself. But in the Congress, the lower house, doesn't look like it's going to change much, but Boehner is trying to run up the score. He's aggressively working hard, going all across the country, trying to pick up any many, many seats. Uh, well, one of the reasons that's significant, though, isn't it because... Uh, that allows Boehner to allow some of his own party, if for special reasons they don't want to vote with the party because of their something special going on in their district, they can choose to vote against their party and not affect the overall vote. But they'll check with the speaker first. They'll say, can I go the other way on this one And because uh, it'll help my district and he'll, he'll provide them cover. Well, that's exactly right, Mark. You nailed it on the head. But I, I, I see that you're not using two words, Tea Party. If you uh, notice in the last two years, you know, he hasn't, as speaker, he hasn't been able to keep everybody in line. So if he gets some people in that when the Tea Party uh, people come up to him, et cetera, he can kind of push them aside if he's got more support. All right, let's talk... Uh, locally here quickly here the 52nd district uh, Scott Peters Carl DeMaio do you have a, a feel for how that's going to go it looks neck and neck in the polls what does it hinge on you know when I say this people are surprised but I got to be honest with you for the past four months I haven't seen any surprises we knew it was going to be close it still is we knew it was going to be brutal it's as brutal as I've seen in 30 years all right so uh, finally then the uh, council district I guess maybe the only council seat up for grabs in San Diego district six and even though it's Kate only and Kim it's only one out of nine I've, I've called that as one of the most important races because because that is going to decide whether or not Mayor Faulkner has a successful next two years. Because if uh, Carol Kim gets in, they will have enough to uh, supermajority to override any of the mayor's veto. And, and vice versa, if uh, Kate were to get in, he would be able to push through his agenda and veto anything that he didn't uh, didn't really want to see happen. That's exactly right. Nine okay. people on the council, six can override a veto. Our plan is John Dady, and uh, it'll be a big day Tuesday. We'll see you back here next week, hopefully. You betcha. All right, thanks. Thanks for coming in, John. All right, uh, we're giving away another trip to Maui this morning. In case you know, you just want to get away from all this. Two more chances to win as well. Your first code word coming up in the next hour.